yeah, it, I think it actually can handle that as well. Before the Mac App Store appeared. <laughs> You know what was the point of all that? I think it's not that bad, I mean... It's also funny that it asks to take a picture. Hey guys, and welcome to Nomadic Dmitry channel. Today we're going to talk about computers. Well, easy as that. <laughs> and we're going to talk about this iMac, which is from the year 2006, late 2006. This computer is very special to me. The reason why is because this one is my first Mac. Basically, I never really used Mac before 2006. I always thought that Windows is much better. I thought that Mac is something like, well, too expensive and something that I will never use. But once I tried that one, those computers got me in totally different direction than I was before. So that's why this is like very important Mac for me. Talking about the specifications, well, those are not really good, but it's a core 2 duo processor, 2.16 gigahertz, two gigabytes of RAM and and again everything else is like totally like similar to what you could expect from computer from the 2006-2007 era and this computer is like white how it's called plastic polycarbonate I think that's that's how it's called I actually like this one more than the next generation because next generation was a complete total redesign of the Macintoshes total redesign of the iMacs and that's why I actually like this one more or maybe because it was my first one in terms of specifications there is nothing really interesting about this computer but there is one thing that I especially liked about this one is the compatibility this one is able to run Snow Leopard version of a Mac and in my opinion Snow Leopard is like Windows XP of the Mac world that's what I, what actually we're gonna do today we're gonna install the Snow Leopard there but uh, since this is not the OS that I was using primarily here for the last couple of years uh, I have Windows 10 installed right here so I thought that Windows 10 is actually like if you want to have the latest operating system you can use Windows 10 here but if you want uh, some a specific and very very compatible operating system that you can run your old applications old games and stuff like that then Snow Leopard is actually really really great let's go ahead and check this out as usual typically <laughs> it was shipped like this I mean of course I like shuffled everything it's not a clean unpacking of course it was shipped with this mouse which was totally a disaster I never really liked the mouse made by Apple and of course the remote control something that Max actually lost over time this one looks cool right and this is actually the OS X Tiger right here on this image. Oh, not even Tiger, wait. This Apple logo was in the previous version, which is like Panther or something. Not really sure. <laughs> and here it is, the Mac itself. I like the design actually, the fact that it's so bright with all these white colors. I mean, the iMac is written right here. All right, are you ready to turn this one on? Notice this one, this glowing light right here. It was so cool. It was later removed in later models, but this one, a good way to know if your Mac is sleeping in sleep mode or it's actually like turned off. So it was really like going back and forth indicating like that this Mac is in a sleep mode. All right, so what we see is that it's loading Windows. Here it is, Windows. All right, since I was not using this one for a while, it's just like updating all the software. It's running the light version of Windows 10, which is like LTSB that I installed here. And it works pretty well, especially since I upgraded the hard drive. So instead of the internal hard drive, I installed the SSD here. If you really want, you can swipe out the say, DVD drive here and also install the, another hard drive or SSD, whatever you want. Take a look at the how fast actually executes the applications like that, so you can work with your documents easily and uh, then of course you can browse the internet yeah you can notice that loading YouTube is not really fast on this one slow but let's go ahead and check opening some videos let's open one of my videos here yeah it's a bit slow because I mean you can expect it from this kind of machine but let's switch the resolution to 1080p yeah it, I think it actually can handle that as well as you can see, it's, op it's able to open that, but I mean, it's a bit slow and like resizing the windows and stuff like that. But it's gonna be definitely much better when compared to, let's say, PowerPC, like G4, or G5. So what you can do here, you can browse the internet just fine, you can watch movies, you can launch any applications you want. Well, like almost any. <laughs> this is still a capable computer. That's what I'm gonna to say. It's like from 2006 and you can still use this one for many tasks. But you know what? You know what was the point? 
point of all that? We actually wanted to install something different. Snow Leopard. So let's actually go ahead and install Snow Leopard on this one. So it finally booted. After like, I don't know, a couple of minutes of the optical drive spinning. Oh, I love this old Snow Leopard kind of theme, actually, the UI. And let's actually go to the disk utility first and see if we can just like resize the partition and then maybe we can leave Windows 10, but I'm not sure if it's actually gonna be possible. And by the way, take a look at the disk utility. The disk utility here is actually really nice and powerful. Later on, this disk utility was like not destroyed, but really, really changed and not in a positive way by Apple. So yeah, I guess it's not really possible to just resize it. Let's go ahead and format this one then. So what we're we gonna have? We're gonna have two partitions. All right, I think it's fair enough. Let's do this way. And notice that in the list of partitions, there is no XFAT, only FAT32, which is, yeah, not the best system. And we can go ahead and install macOS 10 Snow Leopard. And we can customize. So by the way, on uh, Snow Leopard, this version shipped Rosetta, like optional install. You need to check this one out. Rosetta is the uh, layer to run PowerPC applications. The way that Aqua interface back here looked, it was like, it felt actually really nice. Of course, I prefer the Tiger style a little bit more, but Snow Leopard was really good, had also nice design here. Let's see how it works. Remember the times when Apple shipped those nice intros? It was pretty cool, I think. It's actually interesting that it's contacting Apple while it's trying to send all this information to Apple, I guess. It's also funny that it asks to take a picture. I mean, what kind of picture? So, right, let's take the best picture ever. All right. That's going to be my picture. A very clear, nice picture. Okay. Finally, don't forget to register. Yeah, I mean, everything is installed right now. The next step is going to be install the updates and, of course, install the modern browser. Guys, I mean, I really like this look <laughs> of old macOS so far. Transparency effects and stuff like that. So the version that we have right now is 10.6. We're going to install 10.6.8. Also, check this out. I have those old disks with uh, iLife and iWork. It's a part of MacBook set and actually it was like shipped as one pack and it was all before the Mac App Store appeared. But the Snow Leopard latest update actually adds support for the Mac App Store. All right, so I'm installing all the updates. Basically, it upgraded and the version is now 10.6.8 and the software update. Probably it's gonna find some security updates. Yeah, there are some more updates, oh my. But it's still possible to download updates for the Snow Leopard, which is like nice. You keep saying you got something for me. Something you call love, but confess. I'm not gonna play this one. The last step to do is install the browser and I hopefully it's gonna work. And this is how the video looks like from the webcam. I think it's not that bad, I mean, not horrible at least. Alright, so what happens with the Apple website? I actually figure out that even in this old version I am able to record the screen using the QuickTime, but for some reason it was not grabbing the input from my external microphone, so pardon me for the quality of the sound here. Yeah, so Apple doesn't load in this Safari browser, and Safari version is actually which one? 5.1. And what about, uh, let's say, Wikipedia? And it doesn't work either. What about CNN? That actually seems to be working. I guess not really. <laughs> so what about something else? What about Yahoo? I guess the same thing. Google Maps doesn't really work. It just suggests to download all those browsers. So yeah, here it is. All right, so now I'm gonna use actually the other browser, Arctic Fox. And yeah, it's a slow computer, so it's gonna take a while to copy this one. Come on. Okay, so here we have the browser. Let's see how it works now. 
okay do not import well actually let's import from safari yeah why not let's make it a default browser now let's open something let's open the youtube guys this is loading the youtube but it's really really painfully slow seems like and this browser is based on pale moon as far as i know and the pale moon is like a version of older firefox version just updated for the modern times basically that's how it looks like let's see if the video playback it even works even scrolling is so painfully slow yeah this is really slow because at least on um, windows 10 it was it was possible to use 1080p how about here no it's way too slow if you want to have youtube playback you better install something else like windows 10 or linux i guess what about other website like apple.com this loads fine and even the scrolling seems to be fine so i don't see any problems now let's try again cnn this seems to be working fine i don't see problems i mean it's a bit slow scrolling here because the yeah, web pages nowadays are much more intense in terms of resources let's try something else maps google.com well it loads something but again this is such a slow machine right here and on windows 10 it i think it handles this much much better oh my it's so slow so yeah your best bet is gonna be windows 10 i guess on this machine or linux as i said but if you want to use this computer for just using your older mac applications and remember this one allows you to run power pc applications as well so this is going to be really good choice for this kind of legacy software i like the old versions of apps as well like all the icons this is just cool <laughs> otherwise it's working quite fast i don't see much problems here it's just the fact that the web browsing is just painfully slow but if you're gonna use it for some other purposes this is like a great solution all right guys thank you for watching this video if you liked it please press the like button subscribe and there'll be more videos and probably we're gonna go and investigate more on snow leopard because as i said this is like one of my favorite versions of mac os 10